Hey students, it's Miss Ann Heyer. Just wanted to do a little lesson on worksheet two. I got a lot of similar questions at yesterday's tutorial. So in case you weren't able to attend those, I wanna be able to um, provide this video for you. So first of all, here's our agenda. So worksheet two is provided here. If you guys struggled on page W76, the questions there are very similar to worksheet two. So you should be able to get your questions answered as I go over a worksheet two problem. So the question that most students struggled with, if I open up this worksheet, was question three. So a lot of students struggled trying to figure out what equation to use, um, how to find the equations. A lot of students struggled on imagining what the waves on this dock look like. So I'm going to walk you guys through that. So here's a problem that I created very similar to number three on worksheet two. So <clears throat> in this scenario, we've got the Santa Cruz Beach with two docks 110 meters apart. Now, a lot of you guys had trouble trying to figure out how to draw this. I just drew two docks here. I know that they are 110 meters apart. And that there are crests at each dock and nine crests in between. So let's have a crest here, crest here, and then I'm going to try to evenly draw nine crests. Imagine that they are even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is what my wave looks like. Okay, a wavelength goes from crest to crest. We know that all of these waves span 100 meters, but we just want the wavelength of one wave. We're imagining that all of the waves are exactly the same length, and we need to count the number of waves. So from crest to crest, I've got one wave. Then I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So all together, I've got 10 waves total. I also know that those 10 waves span 110 meters. So in order to find my wave length, all you have to do, and this is your symbol for wavelength, lambda, it's a Greek letter. All you have to do is take the total 110 meter length, divide it by 10 waves, and then you should get 11 meters for each wave. So this is your wavelength. One thing I want to point out is that this is not an equation on your physics helper, um, but it is something that you should intuitively know. If you know that a total distance is 110 and there are 10 objects or 10 waves that are equal in size between it, you should already know to divide the total length by the number of items. So um, for the other problems, you are going to need to know the wave equations. And some of you guys have your physics helpers. If in case you don't have it, I did attach it into the agenda. So your physics helper is gonna be under extra resources. I provided a link. You can click on it. Waves is actually under kinematics. So it's right here. You guys can focus on those equations. Notice there's only two equations, but you can manipulate them to figure it out. Here's my screen again. For the next problem, it's asking us to find the frequency and the period. So this is the equation in your free physics helper. F is equal to one over period. So remember, the frequency is the number of waves that pass per second. The period is the time it takes for one wave to pass. So you need to know those definitions.
Here it tells us that five waves pass every 30 seconds. We want the amount of waves every one second. So if we think about this, we're going to take the five waves over 30 seconds and just divide the two and that will give us the number of waves every one second. Five divided by 30 gives us 0 0.167 hertz. That's our unit for frequency. And then to get the period, we just have to take one over the frequency which is 1 over 0 0.167. And I get 5.99 seconds. So basically, here's your equation. And they can be reversed depending on what you are solving for. They are essentially reciprocals of each other. So you are only given this one in your physics helper, but you should know how to convert it to solve for period if you have the frequency. The last problem was to find the wave speed and that equation is velocity equals frequency times wavelength. So because we already figured out our wavelength and our frequency, we're just going to multiply these two values. I've got my 11 meters up here for my wavelength. I've got 1.67 for my frequency. So I'm going to take those two values, multiply them together, and get 18.37 meters per second. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. Feel free to pop into tutorial. Again, they are at 9.45 during normally scheduled tutorial, and after school at 2.10 every day. All right, guys, take care. Bye.